Welcome back, everybody. Some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, another custom mission submitted by a user today. And this one comes from Fighter Pilot 555. This one sounds really interesting. I thought it would be fun. Uh, it says, Commander, the war efforts have taken a toll on the enemies of our glorious Reich. And in their desperation, they have amassed a large number of merchantmen from America to try and relieve the war effort of their allies. A high command has authorized action uh, from the surface fleet as well. U-boat raids have already split up this convoy into several groups. Your task is to take the fast battleship Scharnhorst and commence a blitz raid on the com commerce ships. The survivors of the night raids are in your intercept course. Leave none alive. You should know by now that the, to compensate for the loss of the Bismarck, our leaders have seen fit to upgrade our current stock of surface warships. Scharnhorst's engine efficiency has been drastically improved. She can easily reach 30 knots while cruising, and her 28-centimeter cannons have been refitted with experimental auto-loading mechanisms to improve their sustained rate of fire. In addition, in response to the complaints of the ammunition stowage department, her mixed-caliber secondary battery has been replaced with uniform arrangement of 127-millimeter guns. The challenge is to mock up a recreation of the battleship Scharnhorst, use lightweight shells, tube powder propellant, auto-loading mechanisms, anything you can think of to improve reload speed of the artillery. You may only use 5-inch guns for the secondary armament. Uh, in addition, top speed of the battleship has been increased to 35 knots. So there are a number of conditions to this one now. Failure conditions. If the Scharnhorst is destroyed, the mission is a failure. Uh, priority two, our surface fleet is struggling to be of use as it is. You have five warships. Keep at least two of them afloat. Priority three, you must destroy at least one dozen merchantmen before the three hours have elapsed. Otherwise, the air cover from Great Britain will overwhelm you. So our victory condition, this is a commerce raid. Raid the commerce. You have three hours to destroy as many merchants as you can. Primary targets are the merchants, but if you see fit, destroying the escort vehicles will, always, will also be of great help. And he even gives points here. He says a destroyed merchant is 100 points, a cruiser is 20, a destroyer is 5. Lose a Sharn horse, minus a million points. Lose four ships, minus a million points. Lose a cruiser, 60 points. Lose a destroyer, minus 15. The target goal is 1,200 points before three hours of elapsed. 1940 technology for the Germans, 35 for the Brits. 15,000 meters is our starting uh, location. Let's go ahead and design the Sharn horse. So the first difficulty in building our Sharn horse is that we can't get the hull that looks like the Sharn horse. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, any of the dreadnought hulls that look like the Scharnhorst hull are way too heavy. They're all in the 50 plus thousand ton range, which is way bigger than Scharnhorst. Scharnhorst is a little closer to 31, 32. Uh, so the only hull that I could get that got me in the right weight class was this one. It just doesn't look like Scharnhorst. Unfortunately, I don't really have a choice on that. And if we're going to go for... Um, replicating her performance rather than her look, then this is what we've got to go with. Uh, so unfortunately, that's just the reality of the situation. And now one of the things that he said was that uh, all of Scharnhorst's four and six inch guns uh, in this build are being replaced with five inch. Uh, and again, I'm going to have some trouble here getting these five inch guns where they would have been historically. So I'm again, just going to go more for recreating the build rather than necessarily recreating the look so we're going to try to get as many of these on here as we can but that's going to really be somewhat limited unfortunately there's just not a lot of places we can put them what we might have to do is just go with some casemate guns just so we can get those additional fives on there even though they're not really in the location that they normally would have been. So it's not going to look like Scharnhorst, but hopefully it'll behave somewhat like Scharnhorst. Here's where it gets really tricky. Scharnhorst only had two inches of deck armor. That's brutally thin. 13.8 on the belt. The turrets had, um, looks like, 14.2 on the top. 7.9. Or 7.9 on the top, 14.2 on the turret armor. Um, beyond that, I don't see a lot of info about the armor, so I think we'll just kind of leave the rest of them where they are. Oh, I don't like that. 22-inch torpedoes, uh, six, six of those. 
let's get at least a little bit of anti-torpedo protection on this thing. If we're not going to have armor, the least we can do is beef up things like bulkheads, anti-flood, etc. Oh, we do need to deal with all of this still. I don't know what kind of engine she had. Let me take a look. Okay, she had geared steam turbines. We'll go geared turbines too. We'll go forced boilers. Oil fuel. That gives us some more weight available too. Let's get some good maneuverability here. Let's max out these bulkheads. That gets us close on weight. The four weight offset's a problem. I'm going to have to bump this guy back here a little bit. It's going to make it ugly, but... We're trying to balance the weight as best we can. Somebody made a good comment yesterday. You know, they, they really hope they do something about the weight offset because in order sometimes to get your proper weight offset, you have to make the ship look in such a way that it never would have been built historically. So hopefully they can figure that out. We're 95% engine efficiency. That's probably going to have to do uh, for 35 knots. I guess that's kind of what we're stuck with. Let's see if we can squeeze a few more secondaries on this thing somewhere. I don't know that we can. Oh, we can get one right there. Again, not really where they would have been, but this is kind of what we have to do to make this work. And I don't like that these five inch... Are, I don't know. Will those turn? Yeah, I guess they can turn. Okay. All right, let's do this. So here we go. And, you know, I know this is supposed to be about sinking the transports and keeping at least two of my ships alive. But I'm also concerned that um, they may not live long enough to sink transports if they don't deal with some of these other ships. So I've only got 11-inch guns on my battleship. It's really more of a heavy cruiser. Um, but I think if we at least knock out the heavy cruisers and then try to deal with some of the light cruisers and avoid torpedoes wherever possible... Uh, the more of his escort ships I can sink, the easier it becomes to go after the transports. Uh, and I've got three hours to do this. So uh, let's make the best use of our time that we can. I actually want to get uh, the Blucher in here with the Sharn Horse kind of together. We'll let the destroyers be our screens. So Sharn Horse is already firing. Let's go ahead and get into our best speed option here. Got a thousand shells. I, I may have wanted to add more shells. In hindsight, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. I don't even know who we're targeting at the moment. Let's see. Man, he's got a lot of guns on that thing. He's at 14 kilometers in closing. Hopefully we very quickly can zero in on the range. I'm really concerned about that deck armor. I might be better off to close because that plunging fire could be a real issue for me. If he lands a shot. All right, two percent right now. Torpedoes in the water. Looks like those came from Blucher. With that many ships, hopefully we nail somebody. Still coming straight at me. going to be tough to hit him right now.
Maybe my destroyers will get a couple of torpedoes in on him. That would be nice. So 8-inch hit one of my destroyers already. That's bad. Get our destroyers firing their smoke. Now our secondaries are opening up. They've got much better accuracy. Actually, I prefer the secondary to start firing on some of his smaller ships. Wow, he's coming at me with everything to protect those, those guys. Those transports. Alright, now that he's turned broadside, maybe we'll get some hits. There's one. Light shells from 11 inch guns might have some trouble with his heavy cruiser. Oh, enemy torpedoes. Now oh, they're way out in front. We're good. That's a destroyer who's probably got some torpedoes in the water. All his transports are sitting back. So we're 10 minutes in. And really this early part of the action is going to be about trying to deal with some of his escorts. Oh, torpedo hit on my lead destroyer. That's bad. I hope they get some in the water. Looks like they did get some in the water. Alright, more torpedoes coming. We're going to start turning around this way. I'm going to rock back and forth every so often. Oh, took out a light cruiser. What was it? A torpedo from my from my heavy cruiser. Excellent. 2,500 damage. So that's one of his light cruisers down. I want the heavies, though. Alright, we'll start coming back this way. It's going to wreak havoc on my poor turrets having to turn constantly, but since I'm coming in close, i got to make sure that I'm keeping him guessing on to where to fire his torpedoes. Alright, come on. There we go, there's a destroyer down. What was that? That was another torpedo. I want these two heavy cruisers, and that's probably going to have to be with destroyers, too. There's our first transport. I think if we play this right, we could take out the whole fleet in three hours. But I'm probably going to have to get, like I said, some torpedo hits on his cruisers, because I don't know why are... No, oh my gosh, stop. Let's pause. Because this destroyer is just acting oblivious to the fact that there are torpedoes coming his way. And he's going to take one head on. Because I waited just a little too long to do that. Ugh. There's more coming. Let's switch over to the Cumberland. Did you get your torpedoes in the water yet, dude? Alright, let's be aggressive with these torpedoes.
Maybe I should have been targeting the smaller ships since I'm having such a hard time with the heavy cruisers. I see more torpedoes coming my way. There's another transport. I think we're good here. As far as these torpedoes go. I'm going to start turning around them. So maybe let's go after the destroyers first, since they're easier targets. There's another transport. That was what, a torpedo? From a destroyer, nice, 5,000 damage. Another transport from a torpedo. Got a nice nine inch hit from my heavy cruiser on a destroyer. Sparrowhawk. It's gonna keep rocking back and forth with these torpedoes coming at me. Oh, let's keep going this way. Where's Blucher? Oh, he's okay. What did he get hit by? Oh, he got hit by a torpedo from a destroyer. I didn't even see that happen. turn this way now. There we go. This is working on these destroyers. Oh, jeez. More torpedoes. Okay. Let's slow down. I'm more concerned about Blucher behind me. Oh, and there's more behind those. Jeez. Turn faster, Sharnhorst. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Wow, okay. I think we're good. Turn that baby. How about we go for this light cruiser in the front? There's a torpedo hit on... Oh, that was one of his own torpedoes. <laughs> Friendly fire torpedo on a transport. Light cruiser hit a transport. Why are we cutting so hard here? I'm trying to turn back this way. Does Sharn Horse have damage that I don't see? Doesn't appear to. There we go. Just takes a while to get her turned, I guess. Hey, there goes Calypso. Took two torpedoes. Destroyers are doing their jobs, man. And another transport as well. How are we doing? How are our destroyers? Some damage on one, damage on two. But otherwise, okay. Let's take out Medea. We still have to worry about those two heavy cruisers, the Cumberland and the Emperor's. Nice, there's some good hits on Medea.
I think this bat uh, this uh, destroyer just got torpedoes in the water. A nice big spread of them too. Going right at two of his destroyers. Well, a destroyer and a light cruiser. And I see he's got torpedoes coming this way. So we're going to swing Sharnhorse back around now. Let's go look at Calypso for a minute. I always like watching a ship sink. It's just kind of cool to watch. I don't have a lot of time to do it, though, because we've got to watch torpedoes. There goes Medea. I think that leaves him with one light cruiser, the Canterbury. Two heavy cruisers and, what, three destroyers? I'll feel a lot better once we deal with the torpedo threat once and for all. There's some more coming out this way. Thankfully, we turned just before all those torpedoes started heading into our path. There goes Sturgeon. And that was actually a bunch of small hits that did Sturgeon in. Now we're lighting up Sparrowhawk. They're done. There's a torpedo hit on what? On a transport from my battleship. Nice. All right, more torpedoes coming. Let's go ahead and shift back this way. Just totally lighting up that destroyer. Sparrowhawk's gone. He's got one destroyer left back here. There's another torpedo hit. Oh, that was on me that time. All right, we gotta swing Sharnhorst around before those ones come. We're going after Canterbury now. Let's take a look at Blooker for a second, because, okay, he's he's good. He's still right there. I'm just, I was worried about those torpedoes there, but he's far enough in the other direction. We should be good. Boom. There's another transport. That's a torpedo hit from, from a destroyer. That's good. There goes Canterbury. That should be his last last light cruiser. But we've got one destroyer. The Walker. His heavy cruisers are chilling in the back now. Which means once we take out that other destroyer, we can probably start targeting some transports. Charn Horse is going to be running right into our destroyers here. Oh, you serious? You guys are going to both turn right into my path? Stupid AI. Good thing that friendly damage doesn't happen from collisions. Alright, we got some more torpedoes heading at the transports. We're targeting Cumberland now with our big guns. Let's go ahead and swing back the other way. Once the destroyer's taken out, I don't have to worry too much about torpedoes. So we mostly did this with torpedoes so far. Um, I still feel like that's what we're probably going to have to use to take out his heavy cruisers just because I don't feel like the Sharn Horse is being real effective with their 11-inch guns with light shells on his cruisers. There's another transport out. So I'll start getting my secondaries to target some of these transports. Our mains are still targeting Cumberland. Go 
Come on, let's get some hits. Still a lot of accuracy issues with the big guns. That might be a hit, but I don't know how well it's going to do. Nope, nothing. Just bounced right off. Okay, we're only a half hour into this thing. I have three hours in which to sink as many transports as possible. I don't think that's going to be a problem. There goes another one. Let's take this guy out. He's right up front. Let's get him real easy. Boom. Oh, yeah. Forty-four hits. Forty-five. Oh, my gosh. It's like we can't miss. I think we got him. Sixty-five. Seventy hits. Let's look at the burning transport. Lovely. Man, I still got to deal with these heavy cruisers. Who are hiding behind the transports they're supposed to be protecting. There is still a destroyer out there too. the walker. We're targeting him with secondaries right now. So far, I haven't lost a ship. Here's another one. That was a torpedo from my heavy cruiser. Might have to get in close on the Cumberland to be able to get the penetration I need with these 11 inch light shells. Oh, that transport's sinking the old fashioned way right there. There goes his destroyer. All right, Cumberland does have quite a few torpedoes, so we do need to be careful of that. Where's his other, oh, the other cruiser's way back there. He's actually taking some, taking more damage than I realized. Let's look at him. I want to see what, oh, I got a torpedo hit. That had something to do with it, I think. just can't seem to do enough damage. I've hit this guy 709, oh, 39 times for 719 damage. Alright, we're just going to pursue the Cumberland right now. But not too close because he does have torpedoes. Oh, 
Got a couple of transports over here that hopefully these destroyers are dealing with. Man, just look at how many hits I'm landing from the secondaries, from the small guns, and from the destroyers, even with their guns. Okay. That's it, Cumberland, run. Now we're gonna go up to full speed, see if we can catch this guy. I don't know what his top speed is. Oh, we lost a, lost a destroyer. What did we lose it to? Torpedo hit. Some 8 inch shells. 411? Oh, damage. 3 hits for 411 damage. That probably had something to do with it. One, two, three, four, five, six transports left. Still can't seem to get these heavy cruisers. I'm down to just 262 shells. Man, look how many transport hits on this guy. There we go. The Cardiff is going to get pummeled next. Okay, we got both of his heavy cruisers real close to each other now. I'd like to get these destroyers to make a run on them, but they're both in pretty bad shape, so i got to be careful there. Let's look here. They've got 9-inch guns. They've got quite a few shells left. Now we'll get some real good penetration at this distance. I think I'd have been better off with regular shells instead of these lights. And there was a, uh, I mean, I didn't have a choice because that was what was in the description for the, the challenge, but there was a plan for Sharn Horse to be upgraded to 15 inch guns that never happened. So that could have been a possibility as well with the, uh, the talk of Sharn, Sharn Horse getting some tech upgrades after Bismarck being lost. This is going to be close. I'm going to try to swing around this guy and squeeze in, but I think I might take this torpedo here head on because this thing just does not turn fast enough. It's not going to sink me, but it's going to be the first significant damage that Sharn Horse has taken. Oh, and there's another one coming here. Oof. I'm hoping we can swing around that one. It's going to be close. It's going to be really, really close. I think we missed. There goes his first heavy cruiser. That's some really good news. More torpedoes coming my way. And now that we're this close, we're only two kilometers out. These 11 inch light shells will penetrate easily. Oh, Blooker's taking the lead now. Cumberland listing heavily to starboard.
Oh man, he's getting close shots on my other destroyer now though. Beautiful. We fired a bunch of torpedoes, but now he's turning. So none of them are going to hit. Don't think we'll need them, though. Hopefully we take him before he takes out another one of my destroyers. Oh boy, okay, slow down. He just fired a big spread of torpedoes my way. So let's detach Scharnhorst, get her turning. Look her I want turning the other way. I think we're good. Oh, I kind of screwed that up. Oh, boy, and I... Almost got Sharn Horse hit. Oh, they did get hit. Are you kidding me? Ah. Those torpedoes were moving about the same speed Sharn Horse was. I thought that they were going to go by me. I screwed that up. Probably because I wasn't going slow enough. Just need to finish off Cumberland. There's a torpedo coming, but I think, yeah, they're going to easily miss it. With the rudder being damaged, they sure are turning pretty well. Alright, let's get your secondaries firing on the transports. Sharn Horse, just 129 shells left. So if you have a suggestion for a custom mission, I'll mention this every episode, but uh, the best way to do that is a private message on Discord. It's easier for me to keep track of them that way. But you can leave it in the comment section below on here. You can also email me at thehistoryguy25 at gmail.com. Those are all ways to submit those. And we try to do one a day because it seems to be, um, you know, I, I thought a long time ago you guys would have got tired of these custom missions and stuff. I've done well over 100 of them. But um, as Stealth, Stealth 17 uh, Gaming, his channel and, and mine have both shown, this just seems to be popular. It's by far the most viewed videos on my channel continue to be these custom missions. So we'll keep doing, doing them as long as you guys keep watching them. Um, we'll other, do other content as well. I'm not going to be strictly just this, but you guys seem to enjoy these. So keep submitting them. I'll keep doing them. Make them creative. Make them challenging. Give a backstory if you want to. Oh boy. I got to be careful because it's not a sure thing that Sharn Horse is going to survive these torpedoes that I keep taking. Because I have to get in so close with these 11 inch shells it's going to hit in the exact same place the other one did though so that'll help because it's not going to it's just going to flood the areas that are already flooded for 
goodness sake. What does it take to kill this guy? There we go. I'm about to ram him <laughs> if I can't finish him off. All right, we got him. He's done. That leaves you four transports. Get my destroyers firing on this one. Looks like we'll have done the whole thing in under an hour. So that's pretty good. And you're the last one, buddy. Imagine being on that ship. All right. Don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. We'll be back tomorrow with another custom mission. Hope you guys have enjoyed these. I certainly have. Thanks for watching.